Hi, my name's Edward Victor Dick. I'm in front of my new storefront here at 1457 South Broadway in Denver. It's called Victor Guitar. Um, I'd like to give you a little shop tour, so why don't you come on in and, and we'll show you around. So this is our front retail area. We are a consignment shop and so we have some great rates on consignments if you're looking to purchase or sell a used instrument. Uh, rather than carry any particular brand of instruments, we've decided to recycle and recirculate some of the instruments that have already been built. All our instruments come with a full one year warranty and although we are acoustic instrument specialists, we also have a few electric instruments on hand. This is a nice old vintage guild here. Um, I also have a nice selection of banjos on hand at the moment, particularly older vintage ones. There's some here that date back as far as the 1860s. We have a few violins as well. These are some of our the classical guitars that we currently have on hand. And over here we have our vintage wall. A couple of old Gibson mandolins and some Gibson guitars. And that's an old uh, 1927 Martin over there. This guitar here is an old 1860s German guitar. Mandocello. So come on back and I'll show you the service area. So here at Victor Guitar we do a lot of repairs. Um, this is Tom Crump, he's my assistant, and he's been working with me for two years now. Uh, what are you working on, Tom? Well, I have this old 1910 Lakeside guitar that's really interesting because it has like a quarter saw and oak back and sides. Um, it was in desperate need of a neck reset, so uh, we did a neck reset and made a whole new bridge for it because that was lifting off. Um, and uh, I'm in the process of getting it all working again so someone can play this old gym again. So this is my workbench and uh, I'm currently working on uh, doing a little bit of restoration on this 1800s Martin. I think it's a model 2517. It's got a little crack in the bridge that I'm going to fix, amongst other things. I've got another interesting old vintage K here that I'm going to be refretting this afternoon. So back here we have um, a bunch of workbenches that are set up for our guitar building classes. We teach both guitar and repair classes. Um, at the moment they've got their necks all clamped up here. They'll be coming in tomorrow evening. Wednesday evenings we have our guitar building classes. They'll be coming in and perhaps we can give you a little shot of that. So these are some of the guitar molds that we use in our building classes and some of the uh, uh, various sundry parts. Um, our buffing machine. Back here we have our machine room. And currently we've got some uh, ukuleles that Tom is building. These are quite cute, I think. This one's a, a roomy chestnut back and sides on the type. It's my favorite. Got a uh, drill press there, obviously, band saw, a few more of the student tool. We're a full luthery shop, and so along with uh, you know service on pretty much all major brands, we also build instruments. I'm currently working on this kind of cutaway uh, nylon string guitar here, and so far all I've got is the body. Um, got African blackwood sides and back, spruce top with a spalted maple rosette. If we go back up front, I'll show you a few of the uh, instruments that have already been built. So this is a small sampling of some of the instruments that I've built. I always try to keep a few things on hand to show people, but in reality most of what I do is custom built build a lot of unusual things for people and 
really in collaboration with musicians. Um, this is a, a steel string guitar with a 12 fret neck, short scale. Um, here's a completed version of a nylon string guitar similar to that one that you saw in the back room there. This one has a cedar top and rosewood back and sides. It's kind of a hybrid classical, a little narrower neck, obviously the cutaway, a little lower action than, than a concert classical. But the instrument that I probably most enjoy building, other than doing collaborations with musicians, is the banjolo. And it's an instrument of my own invention. It, this is a, uh, the five-string version here. I built various models of this, but this one is tuned and strung very much like a banjo. And, but it's, um, obviously has a very different tonality. Because of the fact that it has a wooden body, and that's what I really enjoy kind of um, making different models, different versions of this instrument. This is a six string version here, and it's essentially the same thing, except that it has an extra bass string to it. So here's the bass string. This is one of my more recent experiments here. I call it the petite model. I think of it as the uh, the uh, banjo for the uh, rather I should say the ukulele for the banjo because it has very much a ukulele kind of type sound. If you want to talk about uh, us building an instrument for you, we can do a lot of different things here, obviously. Uh, build, repair, we teach classes um, in guitar building as well as repair. Um, you can know more about us at uh, victorguitar.com. Also look at banjolas.com if you're interested in the banjolas. But um, thanks for coming by and I uh, hope to see you in person next time.